love my Canton archives. Did you ready to run? Uh, 39th in Guadalupe, 183 at Spicewood Springs, 4211 South Lamar. They're in lovely Lake Hills and Anderson Lane at Shoal Creek. So they've been, Rooster Andrews has been here 52 years. We interrupt this program owned. to announce the arrival of another special guest, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Sammy's Little Dumplin', hey, Karen oh, oh, Sunlightner. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Uh, I was just, you know, Rooster Andrews, but what you like me, you've lived here all your life. Not yet. Well, that's where I get my uh, athletic shoes. There you go. He's got them. Nike, Reebok, Adidas, Wilson, Converse. They got it all. And it's not warehouses. They are stores. So get all that orange. Or if you're an Aggie or a Texas Tech, they got it, got the pro, all the colleges, everything you need, even related uh, individuals or teams. Rooster Andrews, sporting goods stores, not warehouses. Houses. You know Rooster, don't you, Karen? Very well. So why did you do have a kind of a, tie, a tough race? That's the best guy. Well, though. the paper this morning says Election Day also gave Travis County Republicans a landslide win in the Justice of the Peace Precinct 2 race, while Republican Jim Shaw's near upset of incumbent Democrat Karen Sunlightner left her visibly shaken. Oh. Now, how she can, looks pretty how good can to a me. wink, I, I, wink? I mean, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not getting on a reporter here, but how can a reporter report that somebody looks visibly shaken? You would have to confirm that before it's okay to print that, unless it was a column. This is a news story. Well, I mean, were, were you were you just if you shaking lost, and were you crying or what? Well, it had been a real emotional evening, I'll tell you that. Uh, at the point that it started just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, as I, public as I am, that's not something that I did wanted to endure publicly. So uh, I did retreat to uh, the the Palmer women's bathroom. Now I can tell you, all, <laughs> which is which is going to be renovated. By well, the way. anybody that wonders <laughs> yeah. why they put sofas in women's bathrooms, it is so that uh, women political candidates can go. Hang out there for about an hour uh, uh, watching the goofy returns come press. in. <laughs> Visibly shaken. Oh, what? You're like midnight and you're behind? What do you want to do? Go out and have, have a little party? Exactly. Uh, well, mind. it was 140 and I was still behind, so it was not a pleasant evening. How many, you, what'd you win by? A thousand something votes? Oh, uh, 1,500. 1,500. Most people don't remember. Precinct 2 is a very uh, tight precinct. It's pretty evenly split between Republicans and Democrats. And four years ago, I only won by 2,000 votes. So this was more of the same. So you could be a Republican, though. You really could be. I bet you even and thought about it. My could parents be a are Republican. Your parents are, yeah. See, I always thought of you as that until you became, uh, well, of course, when you first ran for uh, the last term for the, uh, uh, for the county commissioner's office, there had never been a Republican. It was smarter to be, I guess, a Democrat. Well, I, 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 I'm a Democrat. Let there be no Everybody, uh, uh, everybody no in Austin doubt about and that. Uh, yeah, I was trying to pull her over. But I, I, yeah. I grew up in a Republican household. Yeah, but you dated a Republican once. Did, oh, I, did I ever mention that? You're never going to let me. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Did, did Terry call to congratulate you yet? Yes, he has. All right. Hey, I, Terry Keel, World's Greatest Lawyer. I try to rein him in, Karen. I am trying. You should have heard him with you my You know, with I pity your daughter when she gets to dating age. She's going to hear about ex-boyfriends for the rest of her life. There'll be no ex-boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> you got your name coming for right you, buddy. Uh, buddy. You got it to look forward to. Hello, KB. Karen? Karen? Hello. Oh, she doesn't have oh, headphones. I'm sorry, we, we can't afford but one set of headphones. Well, the headphones that were here. AM station, station borrowed them. We've only got two pair in the building. Sir, we can't take calls here on the number one show in Austin because an $8 set of headphones is not in our... I'll uh, go by here. Radio Shack and buy some more where I bought these for myself. Yeah, stretch this across for the moment. There okay, go, go okay, ahead, sir. We, we've, we've connected you to uh, Command Central in Houston. Karen, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Uh, if you or any of the neighbors are wondering if your house is constantly passing gas, uh, that's probably not it. You're probably on the bus route or near it. Cap Metro is buying uh, factory second mufflers on those mid-sized buses, and you have to buy the, um, the factory, I mean, they're buying aftermarket mufflers. Okay, oh, thank you. Is, thank you very much revelation. for sharing that with us. It's resonating. Resonating. I, I think you mean Whoa. resonating. Resonating, right. Yes. Through the, through the you went to Texas Tech, didn't you, Trooper? This talk regular, Trooper. We can understand it. Uh, oh, you okay. guys know these guys over there. Oh, do we oh. know this guy? Yeah. This guy, thre this, this, guy, this guy threatened to beat up Sammy one yeah, time. Yeah, and, ah. and he said blood would be running down his hand from where he hit me in the tooth. Now, now I, do I don't believe they're trying to save a buck by the way they spend money. I got a feeling. All right. Thank you, Trooper. Hello, Kevin. Karen Sunlightner, County Commissioner, newly, freshly elected.
<laughs> sitting in with us. Well, a comfortable margin of 1500 I'd say. <laughs> yeah, I got a question for Karen Sunlightner. Hi. Uh, hi. Uh, I live out in Big, San Big Sandy Drive in Leander, and recently there was a new bridge put over around Mountain out there. Mountain Knocker. Around Mountain Round Road, Mountain. which goes I know her. between uh, <laughs> oh, Leander and Liberty <laughs> Hill. That boy. <laughs> Anyway, I uh, got back from a trip uh, from up north on the 17th, the day of the big flood. And they're supposed to fix the road going across there. Of course, there's only one way in and one way out. Mm -hmm. And I was three hours getting home. I, got, I went 1,200 miles to get home to 300 feet. I couldn't so, get home. So, enough about the past. What do we need now? <clears throat> what do we need now? We need yep. a, a bridge over there, uh, Big Sandy Driveway should have been in the first place instead of Round Mountain because it's a six-foot-wide creek. never has been a flood. And they put the bridge in the wrong place. Well, the bridge was put in the right place. The question is whether there's another bridge that's needed in another place. And uh, certainly with the floods that we got a couple of weeks ago. I don't the bridge cost a million or two million. No, I don't about $250,000. That's about mm. the standard for uh, that kind you of You won't bridge. even feel it. Hello, Kevin. Yeah, Sammy. I thought Marshall. they put the bridge in the right place and the creek in the wrong place. Hello. <laughs> Sammy. Hello. How you doing this morning? Oh, uh, you want the whole uh, story or just me to say fine? Did you want to talk to our guest, Karen Sunlightner? Uh, well, uh, I don't know. We can talk, to Karen. Hey, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Karen. Congratulate her on her on her victory. Uh, good, congratulations. Thank there, you. Thank was, you. I appreciate was it. Was there a purpose of this call? Was there a purpose? Yes, sir, <laughs> Sammy. I'm calling to say that I heard you on the TV this morning talking to Imus on the uh, about Kinky Friedman. You being on the uh, yeah. with uh, Kinky there. Wasn't I bragging on Bob Cole? Oh, Big yes, time. you sure were. So he didn't make that up. Hey, Thank Bob Cole sounds real nice this morning. Well, he is real nice. Did, I, did, I, did, I, did Don Imus was really ask about me? What did you do this morning, Sammy? What did you do this morning? What? What did he do this morning? What did Bob do this morning? Oh, he's just been feisty. I don't know what I don't know is. what we it is. Uh -oh. Young John Tyndall and I have been trying Sammy to Sammy wearing off in. on me or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting cocky. I'm getting real cocky. <laughs> Hello, okay, man. Oh, yeah, I'd like to uh, ask Mrs. Suntliner a question. Oh, miss, but that's okay. I'd like okay. to know her position, how she feels about how the county wants to put these new stringent septic tank ordinances. I was waiting for this question to come up. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get into that. When can I get some sewer? Oh, you're not my county commissioner. Why does Travis County uh, allegedly want to have the toughest septic uh, tank restrictions in, in the, the state of Texas. State. Well, I think where we're headed on this is that we got some rules that we put out there for the public to comment on. We have and, rules. No, no, no. Oh, and we, and we heard back from the public, and I think we consistently heard the message from folks that have had systems Street. that have been uh, up and running, not causing a problem of why do you want to mess with us? Why do you want to come us? inspect me every year and then, and then charge right. me a fee? And, and, and we heard loud and clear from folks, and I think the next version of the rules that are taken out into the public in the next couple of weeks or so are going to reflect the state minimum requirements plus the overlays that Hayes County and the Lower Colorado River Authority have already gotten approved by TNRCC as being uh, thoughtful, balanced, and protecting the public health. But not mandatory. Right. Well, in terms okay. of the, the, the reinspections are, are not a part of that. But we'll... So we, if you... We're are you saying that... The, thank you, uh, Commissioner. Are you saying that if you already have a septic tank and you've already been approved that the way things are going now, there's a good chance that you won't have to endure more inspections? Uh... It's possible, or it's the kind of thing that it may be a, a longer period of time before you have an inspection, or that the inspection is something that is extremely low cost that uh, Travis County would be responsible for sending the person out there to check on it. But something that is not so overly you, you all, you'd all cost. have to hire a lot of people to do that. Exactly, and that's to why... create a whole new bureaucracy. Well, it's something you couldn't quickly do. So uh, I'm in charge of septic tanks. Hey, right. We're going to be very thoughtful about this, and I think the comments we've got from folks have Hello? been very thoughtful about... Today's the day to congratulate Karen, not put her on the hot seat. Hello, Karen. That's, a, uh, that, that's an important question. I didn't bring it up. Oh, that's important to me, too, and I'm going to talk no, to my county commissioner about bet. it, as well as where's the sewer line that I've Yours, made. Yours is the new Todd Baxter. Yeah. Yeah. And Hello, sir. Of uh, Northridge Acres Homeowners Association. And, uh, you I need water. Thank uh, Well, we know that, and we're working on it. <laughs> and I want to tell Karen how much we appreciate what she's done out there in that uh, neighborhood you know to help us out because we've been overlooked for years and uh, 
she has really done her job, and I want so I'm so glad she got reelected. Well, thank you, thank you. Now tell the black helicopter people that, please. Yeah, please, please. <laughs> this is the first time when Kirk Watson was here earlier, the mayor. It's the first time he's come that the black helicopter people didn't call. I was just now, thinking about that. Now their voices I recognize. I yeah. know every single one of them. Us too. <laughs> Maybe they've changed them. Maybe they've changed their voices. Well, Judge Elshar wrote me a little note about two months ago because these guys have been, you know, stalking us for lack of a better word for about four months now. And he wrote me a little note that I. I've kept up underneath the dais, and it says, remember, your best revenge is inviting these folks to your swearing-in ceremony. <laughs> oh, Mike Hansen, you're invited. Oh, right. There you go. Is Mike the guy that calls us? Maybe y'all yes, could have yes, a party up yes. at the beautiful and historical Broken Spoke. I love the Broken Spoke. Oh, it's great. Tonight, what's this, the fifth? Tonight, Stop the Trucks playing. Tomorrow night, Alvin Crow. Saturday, Don Walzer. Later in the month, oh, the Gulf Coast Playboys, Bruce Robinson. Speaking of Emily with a Dixie chick. No, that, she, no, Bruce is married to Kelly Willis. Right. And then, and then Bruce, uh, hi, ma'am. Uh, Howdy, ma'am. I was doing a quick tutorial here for the Broken Spoke. What about the Slaws? When are they playing again? The Geese and Slaw World Tour will be there November 28th. Thanks for asking. Y'all ought to have your uh, uh, party there. Gary Pinot will be coming, Bruce Robinson, Chris Wall, Alvin Crow, the Derailers, Don McAllister. They'll be close Thanksgiving, of course. The Broken Spoke birthday party is going to be November 12th with Alvin, the Geese and Slaws, Chris, Derailers, Walter, Dale Watson, everybody be there. Uh, James M. and Annette White, the best in country music and chicken fried steak, and I might say enchiladas, um, 3201 South Lamar, the beautiful and historical Broken Spoke. Hello. Oh, golly. Hello, you still there? Ah, dang, I forgot. It is the best and most comprehensive book on Bohemian Grove, and it's written by Mike Hansen, my old camera guy. Mike Hansen, our guy. To support this channel, I just got a new box of books in, and I will send you a signed copy if you want to write us here at uh, P.O. Box 481, Gonzales, Texas. 78629. Send $25 and we will send you. You don't have any shipping. Just send $25 and uh, we'll use it to put more VHS tapes up. Look at that. Good Alex right there. Okay. And then also, if you want to call, there's the box of books. If you want to call, I don't hear no phones ringing in there yet. If you want to call here, we got people answering the phones here. I don't hear no phones ringing yet. If you want to call us, our phone number is 830-672-3089. I got that right this time, didn't I? Okay, and look at and look. There's the phones ringing. Okay, and then we got people over here working hard on putting tapes up tonight, right? Okay. It is the best and most comprehensive book on Bohemian Grove, and it's written by Mike Hansen, my old camera guy. Mike Hansen, our guy.